In order to evaluate this limit, the first thing that we might try doing is simply plug infinity in for x. So we would obtain the following result. Now, the natural log of infinity is essentially infinity. So we can rewrite it one more time. Once again, just as noted, the natural log of infinity is infinity. So the final rewrite would look like this. A lot of students want to say that this ratio is equal to 1, but it, in fact it's not. It's what's referred to as an indeterminate form. And there are many different indeterminate forms presented in this section. In order to evaluate the limit of an indeterminate form, we're going to have to apply L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule simply states that if you have an indeterminate form when evaluating a limit, you can reevaluate the limit by computing the derivative of the numerator and then also compute the derivative of the not the denominator and rewrite the limit. So let's go ahead and take the derivative of the numerator and then also take the derivative of the denominator. Recall that the derivative of a natural log function is essentially 1 over whatever you're taking the natural log of multiplied by the derivative of that function. and the derivative of the denominator is just 1 since the denominator is x. Just to reiterate how I obtained the derivative of this expression right here, I'll come off to the side and review it. You can skip ahead if, if this already made sense to you, but basically whenever you have the natural log of a function and you want to compute the derivative, then you simply write 1 over that function multiplied by the derivative of the function. So in our example we had the natural log of the natural log of x. The natural log of x would be our function so to speak. So the derivative would be 1 over that function and then you have to multiply by the derivative of that function. The derivative of the natural log of x with respect to x is 1 divided by x. So we can come back and finish evaluating this limit. We have just applied L'Hopital's rule because our original limit was an indeterminate form. So we'll go ahead and simplify the numerator. And after doing so, we're still dividing by 1, so we can actually get rid of that. So after applying L'Hopital's rule, the limit now takes on this form. And we can once again try to plug infinity in for x and see what happens. So in the denominator, you have infinity multiplied by the natural log of infinity. As stated earlier, the natural log of infinity is just infinity. So you essentially, in the denominator, have 1 over infinity times infinity, which is 1 over infinity. And any constant divided by infinity approaches 0. And that is the final answer.